So I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick cabin tour of our cabin here on the Norwegian Encore. We are in cabin 10858. Okay, so after you get in, they do have a key card slot, but ours actually has a, it's got like a permanent key card in it. You just raise it up when you leave the room and you lower it when you come in, or since there's a permanent card here, I'm sure most people just leave it lowered all the time. Then here's your little switches for do not disturb. If you want them to make up the room. They can't both be on at the same time, so that's good. Then here on the back of the door, we have our emergency instructions. 10858, your muster station is F. That is the Manhattan room. So down on deck seven. So we'll continue in here and we will head into the uh, the bathroom. The bathroom has a very large step up. So when you're coming in, make sure you don't trip over that. It could be a nasty fall. In the bathroom, hey, there I am. We have the usual, you know, you got your towels, some glasses, obviously a pretty big mirror, some shelves to put your toiletries on, a sink. Now, the one thing we noticed is they give you um, hand pump soap, which is great, and they also give you a little soap dish here, and there was a bar of soap. We really didn't like that, but for whatever reason, whenever I went to wash my hands, I always found myself grabbing for the bar of soap automatically instead of uh, using the pump soap. Then under the sink, we just have a little trash can here, and your Kleenex or tissue dispensers there. You got your toilet. Pretty big shower. Shower was a good size. And it also has your uh, body wash and conditioning shampoo. And there's also, we didn't need this, we didn't have any bathing suits with us, but it's got a little clothesline also that you hook up over there and you can hang some things to dry. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty good size uh, bathroom, nothing spectacular, it's kind of your standard cruise cabin bathroom. Okay, let's continue on through. We have our thermostat here, up, down, air conditioning on or off, a full length mirror, a couple of hooks. We actually hang our, we actually hung our coats on those. They were kind of handy. Continuing on into the cabin, we have the desk and it had a tray on it with a little coffee maker came with a few packs of coffee but I'll show you in a minute where we put those because it was not staying here because it takes up way too much room so this is valuable real estate in a cruise cabin then we have a very large mirror another little shelf you got plenty of outlets right got lots of outlets there to uh, plug it in three outlets and then a international one or a European and they actually use that to plug in their coffee maker but if you had a um, an adapter for that like I did using the Apple World Traveler adapter kit it uh, gives you an extra outlet and the switch here turns on and off the lights for the mirror have the telephone then down underneath here we have a this is a little kind of footstool slash table you also take this off and you can use it as a little bench to sit at when you're uh, sitting at the desk. So that was pretty good. And also under here is the hair dryer, which it, the cord just isn't quite long enough, right? But anyway, it worked. And inside of this little cupboard here is the mini bar. It's locked now because we're getting ready to get off the ship, so they lock it the last night of the cruise. Uh, but it had a few items in there, and then there was also extra room if you wanted to put some of your own items in, I'm sure. It would have been fine. Over across from the desk in the mirror is a pretty good sized couch. It would fold down also for a bed. We also have the Pullman up above, which I believe this room 
or which I believe this cabin would sleep a total of four people two in the bed one on the couch one in the Pullman then we have a closet here pretty good size something we noticed during this cruise is there's simply not enough room at the end of the couch here to kind of get in and do things in the uh, closet like get out clothes and stuff it's just kind of a awkward situation there something they'd kind of definitely a miss on that one but there was plenty of hangers even for a nine day cruise or a nine night cruise there was plenty of hangers in there for us to uh, hang up all of our stuff as well as using the uh, shelves so here's the shelving in the closet we have a safe in here the safe is pretty small didn't hold very much just our passports wallets and I did put Missy's camera in here as well but it might hold like a small tablet but probably not a probably not an iPad and definitely not a laptop so unless you have something that's pretty small this is a pretty small safe they could have put something a lot larger in there because really what are you, you're not going to put too much on here if you're using your safe fairly regularly but yep pretty good size shelving and storage in here then we have a couple other little storage cabinets and this one here is where I stored the where we stored the uh, coffee maker for the week or for our nine nights but a little extra storage there another little cupboard here where I was able to put uh, kind of cameras electronics cords all that kind of stuff right then we have the television remote control books room service menu mini bar all that kind of stuff there so uh, we also use it to put other things in there as well got to point out the telephone we did use that quite a bit for making restaurant reservations the TV also has a um, interactive feature where you can make your restaurant and activity reservations as well you cannot cancel them on there so if you want to uh, cancel something you either have to visit the box office guest services give them a call there's also a another cool feature on here which is the calendar where it shows you all of your uh, upcoming activities for your cruise you have booked or pre-booked the only other problem with that was you couldn't view upcoming restaurant reservations it showed activities it showed where you had dined previously so if you had eaten at um, say the Manhattan room yesterday or at the local it would show you that but it does not show you upcoming restaurant reservations okay moving on to the bed it's obviously a split twin that for us they turned into a king or a queen I'm guessing more of a king it's a pretty big bed not too bad it was kind of hard we did have them put on a eggshell just to make it a little bit softer for us but the bed was not the most comfortable bed we have slept in over here we have a little kind of end table or side table for the bed and there's one over there on the other side now you would have thought that they made this and measured this correctly so that you can fit one over there and one in here but the problem is this one does not fit somebody was using a broken measuring tape I don't know but it would have been great if that kind of just slid right in there but I guess they figure they will just put it here beside the couch so anyway also here beside the bed you have a reading light right there we are reading light here beside the bed and kind of move it around point it to wherever you need to light switch for bedside and there's also a little USB plug over here as well and there's one on that side so you can plug in your phone at night whatever you want to charge so that is kind of cool a couple USB plugs here underneath the bed there is quite a bit of storage under here so suitcases as usual will fit under the bed they do have um, bedding under here for the Pullman or and probably also for this uh, uh, sofa bed but uh, lots of room as usual to put your empty luggage in under the bed just move over to the other side of the bed not too much else over here except you have a couple light switches 
that one is for the main lights and then this one is for the kind of light that's behind the bed here right so it's kind of neat again like I mentioned we have the light over here the switch is here the USB outlet there and your kind of side table and we have the curtains that go out to the patio and then out here is our balcony and it has a there's like a big lock up top you push in to unlock and you pull it out to lock and then another big handle you have to turn to open so here is our balcony We've got a we have a couple of uh, balcony or patio chairs out here with a small table but since the type of cabin we are in um, it actually has a slightly extended balcony. The balcony would normally uh, probably stop. Or you can see where it ends on this side, right? So it would probably stop about here, somewhere about here. And so we have a little bit of extra room out on our balcony because it's kind of on the edge of this, where it kind of juts out here. You can see it go down, and then it kind of juts out. So we're in that type of balcony down there, just up this way. So pretty cool we uh, didn't really have a lot of opportunity to use the balcony too much it was kind of cold and there wasn't anything to see except for the sea but it'd be great lots of room out here you could even probably uh, maybe even ask if they could bring you down a full-size lounger from the uh, pool area ask your cabin steward give them a nice tip if they were able to bring you down a uh, pool lounger because it would probably certainly fit in here but yeah so I hope you enjoyed this tour of our cabin on the beautiful Norwegian Encore if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more like it or you want to see upcoming travel and cruise vlogs please be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell and we'll see you next time thanks for watching